Uh, good afternoon, this is DW from Florida. Um, today I'm going to be working on a Honda uh, 3000 PSI um, jet washer. Now it's a 190 GCV, as you can see there. Uh, the problem is it's been sat for a long time, probably about a year, not really being used. And what I'm going to be doing is doing a full service on it. I'm going to be changing the oil which is down there there the oil um and then the carburetor which is underneath here underneath here uh needs uh emptying out because obviously it won't start straight away so there's this that's the main problem straight away um so i'm going to turn off the gas first of all so that's the gas line, it's turned off. Oh, actually it was, it was turned off, it's turned off now. Um, and then I'm gonna, em I'll be emptying out the gas tank as I'm working on it. Uh, it's turned on, so I'll turn it off. And then I'll be cleaning out the carburetor because normally that's the main problem. So, yeah, so um, here we go, I'm gonna put you down. And I'm going to start, let me get you into a position where you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is, with this, this system, I know there was a, a newer model GCV. Uh, this is an older model, which has been used yearly for probably about five years. Um, there is a newer model where you can actually, there's two screws on there to empty the oil out, uh, to, you know, to clean out the oil but with this one there isn't so what i've got to do is i've got to go to this side here and i've got to empty it manually now because it's i've got a tank here i'll just put that in there well this is good this is the uh, dirty part really this is where you have to tip it up and hopefully it goes into the tank into the pan. So let's do it this way, shall we? One, two, three, in we go. Right, now it's coming out. So just so you can see, all I've done, as you can see, tipped it up, and there's oil inside. As we speak, it's coming out nice and dark, so obviously it's not been cleaned for a long time. And while we're upside down, you can see the carburetor there, which, makes sense for me just to work at it work on it right now there so so now the carburetor has a 10 mil uh nut which obviously you need a 10 mil wrench perfect just undo that so as you can see it's still emptying the oil out at the same time so i'll give some time now just be careful when you're dealing with this you don't want to lose your nuts so to speak, that was a joke. Now that will get stuck. So what we do is we just tap it. Let's just tap it out. There you go. And you can see everything's coming out right now. Now you can see all the dirt inside that. I'm gonna get close. You see how dark it is? That is absolutely disgusting. Oh, it's, it's so solid, it's like sandpaper. And that's normally smooth. That's how bad it is. Now, what you will find uh, with these carburetors, because obviously a lot of the gas has ethanol, it causes problems when sat for long times. So now the pan's proving to me straight away that there is a lot of problems. So that's, that's showing that the sediment inside the nozzles and uh, obviously crud. Uh, I'm just cleaning this up. In the jets and things. So I'm not so much worried about cleaning out this out perfectly because this is the base. Oh, geez. You, can you see how colored that's supposed to be white? I mean, look at, look at the dirt on there. That's disgusting.
Now this lifts up, so just be careful. Right, inside here, right, let's move this around here. Inside the carburetor, I'm gonna see if we can just zoom in on that. Oh, I'll get near as I can. Right. So, inside there, there's a thread. Uh, you can you can probably see it. I'm just going to use this to point it out there, and then obviously one on the other side. Now, obviously this one's too thick. This won't go in. It, no. So, or will it? No. It needs to be a thinner one. So, I'm just going to go and get the thinner one. So this, I've got a thinner screwdriver. Put it in there. And you turn it until it comes out. Now, it doesn't want to come out all the way. Uh, so what you have to do is tip it back a bit and tap it. Now, there is a rubber seal or seal here. So try not to, if that comes off, just be careful it goes back in. Uh, I shouldn't have to get it out at this moment in time. I'm going to just take it back, sorry, so let me zoom out a bit so you can see. I'll move this back a bit. Right. Now, tip this up again. I could put that oil back on, I think. No. Oh yeah, some more's coming out. Let's get it all out first. That's actually not oil left. Oop, there's the water. Sorry about where you're looking at at the moment. Trying my best. Let's get this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can't see anything really. But what I was doing. I was tapping on the carburetor piece here, which then allows this to come out, the jet. So let me get it back into that position. I think I've got enough oil out of that at the moment, so I shall be putting the lid back on. Or maybe not, I'm gonna leave it off. Let's see what else comes out. I like the position that it was in, so. Where are we? Okay. Oh, a lot of hassle. There we go, sorry about that. Um, okay. So, I've took the jet Oh gee, yeah. Now looking at the jet, <clears throat> looking at the jet, the hole there is absolutely terrible. I can feel it, I can see it, and I can see inside there's, there's something blocking it up. So, I need a pin. Get your pin. Just literally get to the end of it and... Oh, I can feel it. Jeez. That's bad. What I'm doing is I'm just cleaning on the insides. see a little hole now appearing that should and then I'm gonna blow oh. 
little brush. See if I can see the hole. Yeah, I can see the hole. Yeah, it's a bit cleaner now. Now there is another piece in there, which is the a brass jet uh, a nozzle. Um, so let's see if we can get that out. I think it wants to come out. I'm sure there's a way of getting it out, but maybe if I tip it back up and tap it, it should come off. Famous last words, eh? Right, so I'm going to tip it back upwards. Oh. I have emptied all oil out, so that's good. I'll just do the oil last, I think, because I'll be tipping it upside down a bit more. Just put that back on there so it seals it, I don't lose it. Oops, and don't cross thread it either. Right, so oil cap's back on, and I'm just cleaning that area. Move this oil out of the way. There wasn't a lot inside that either, so that's good. Right, what have we got? What, what picture we got? Nothingness, that's cool. Right, so I'm now working under this area here. Carburetor, I'm gonna tap. Hopefully that will stay on. There we go. So that has now come out. Can you see that? I'm just seeing what you can see. Yeah. That's the pin. The, uh, the nozzle. Let's get nearer to it so you can see. And that is absolutely dirty. You can see it, it's caked on. So, I'm trying to zoom in so you guys can just see how bad it is. There you go. You can see that lump just there on the tip of my finger. That's caked on, it's disgusting. So the best way to do that is wipe it. Oops. So let's get it wiped down. the holes as soon as I do this you can see it's I can see it's the holes are getting bigger well not you know I can see it's it's got it's got crud all the way around Every hole looks very small until I push the pin in and then it gets bigger. I 
I'd say this is literally probably about a 20 minute, half an hour job. Very simple. Make sure everything is done. Get it inside. Inside the other side. I have got a brat. Right, a lot of people will probably tell you to wear gloves if, you, if you've got any allergies to oils or, you know, diesel, gas, whatever. You should be wearing gloves. Uh, but I haven't. And the thing is, I'm an electrician by trade. So I was always, I couldn't wear gloves. Especially when you're dealing with the, you know, the cables. Oh, that's good enough. I normally just put, when I've cleaned it, just put it into my mouth and blow out and hit, see if I can hear the holes. Because if it's if it's not being able to, if you can't blow through it, like so. If you can't blow through it, then obviously there's something blocked in there. But it's dry, I've cleaned it already. So, let's do the same with this one. Again, you don't have to do that. Now, uh, the fat end, there's two ends. There's the fat end there and the thin end. The thin end goes upwards. The, the fat end is the bottom part. Just so you know when you're putting that back in. Oh, before I put that in, what I do want to do, what I wanted to do, should I say, is okay so back to emptying this the gas get that over this position <laughs> and then let's just turn it so you can probably see it open the gas It's going to be a slow process. Well, at least the no gas is going through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip it up this way and empty the gas directly out of it. One, two, three. Well, first of all, first thing I see is dirty gas. I see dirt. Right, so I've just seen uh, dirt coming out of the actual tank. Um, and I'm going to just that fuel again any drips coming out of it anything left in the pipeline and one way is to make sure 
is just to blow into it. Now, if you've got one of those air guns, then air compressors, that'll blow the air through. So what I've done is I blew in the top hole to force it any leftover um, gasoline in the tank and it just went onto the rag at the bottom. Um, now what I need to do is put it back together. Uh, so. I'm going to tilt it up again so you guys can see it and do the opposite of what I've done. Now the seal is still on. Let's make sure you guys can see that. Yeah. So the seal's still on, I don't have to mess with that. This looks okay. The pin or the nozzle, uh, the brass jet nozzle, whatever it's called, that will go back in. Fat end to the bottom. Push that in. This can only go one way, the jet. Screw that back in. You don't want to over tighten it because obviously you don't want to damage so hand tight this I'm just gonna go inside this and just scrape it. You can see straight away, jeez, dirtiness. This has to be cleaned, doesn't it? You can see so far what I'm doing. See how it's getting cleaner now. So I'm just gonna try and clean as much as I can. Whew. Watch this, clean towel, dirty towel. And that's what's been happening. It's been sat for so long, it's not been used. So I've just got a wire brush and just trying to get in the corners, the edges. And subscribe to me for more lessons of life, as I call them. That's a lot better. I'm going to try and get as much as I can out of that. I'm just shy of a thousand subscribers, so I would love to have a few more on the list. I do contact people if they uh, ask questions, try and help them out. be nice to be uh, giving up a job to be able to do this sort of thing full time. Right. And as you can see, it's not really that hard to do what I'm doing. It's just patience, and patience is a virtue given to those who deserve it. And. Uh, 
don't don't think to yourself i've got to get it done i've got to rush it i've got to do this just take your time and do it right let's see if you can see inside can you see how clean it is now yep so i'm just going to put that back on Keep saying this, but keep make sure that seal is left on there. Or if it comes off, make sure it goes in the right spot. So that's on. I can see the screw. Right, make sure. Yep. Yeah. And that's just tightened back on. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want to under tighten it because it's going to, it could leak. So just make sure that should do it. Right. Now I've done that. I'm going to turn it back up. Oh, turn that back up. Right, now I've got to put some gas in it and some oil. I think I need a cameraman, what do you reckon? There we go. I really don't know how much it takes, I've never really looked into it, but. So the gas is in, it looks nice and clean, it's open, so let's see if there's any leaks. What I normally do is just put a clean towel underneath the carburetor to see if anything's going to drip out. And if while I'm putting the gas, anything does drip out, then I know. Just got the oil to put in. Now with the oil it tells you on the dipstick just to go up to the first line, that first line there. So, and the gas, uh, so the oil that I use for this one is 1030 engine oil. So I'm finally just now uh, put the oil in. It is a uh, 10.30 SEW, nice clean oil, and they ask if you can uh, just fill it up to the first line. Just make sure what we've got in there, you know, that looks good. Actually, that's probably a bit over that first line, but it's going to be used. I've, I've turned the water on as well, so we've got water to it now. And all we have to do is try it out and see if that really was the uh, problem. But oil change, clean carburetor. I think it could do with a clean fuel fil uh, filter as well, but... Right, so with this system, as you all know, it is turn on the gas, turn on, pull the choke out, says it up here, one, two, three, give it a couple of starts. As you saw there, start, started straight away. So that's a win-win. I'll turn it back on. Pull the choke.
turn it off. So, as you can see, short and sweet, nice and simple. Um, that's all it really needed. So, if you ever get problems like this, get it organized yourself, literally half an hour, clean it out. You don't, some, you don't always have to put the new oil in, fresh oil, but when you're doing it, you may as well just put fresh oil in. Start, clean it all out from the start, and uh, that's it, that's good. So, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Tell me why. You know, at the end of the day, I'm only here trying to teach you guys something. Um, subscribe to me, please. I need the, I need the, but you know the subscriptions. Uh, I need to get to a thousand. So help me out. I'm, sh I'm shy of probably about 200. That's all. So thanks very much, guys. Have a great day. Take care, and happy DIYing.